come back at this time, I'm going to show you another effect. I want you to look at this wave, and I'm going to show you what's running this. This circuit is far more efficient than a jewel thief for the simple reason that it's an open loop circuit, meaning that there's no closed loop, so it doesn't draw current the same way. So here's the LED, and there's the circuit right there, and there's the current that it's drawing. And make sure you see that. I'm going to show you this. Here is iron wire wrapped around the towel. Felt would be better, and it does the same thing. It produces the same amount, and it keeps this current up, which means this meter is doing a lot of work because it has to hold that meter up. So, uh, once again, there's there's the coil, and what I'm explaining to you is there's no closed circuit here. So it does not draw current the same way that the monopole circuit draws it. This is a monopole forced oscillator. You can see that from our patents. And once again, the 2N2222, if we look at the frequency range of the iron, wire, it's exactly 19.34 kilohertz. That's what the wave looks like. And that's exactly what's driving the LED is this peak across the uh, the output of that monopole transformer. So anyway, I thought I'd share this one with you too to show you that you can make these oscillators really efficient, far more efficient than the Jewel Thief. And there's your current again, and there's your iron wire wrapped around there, and it just holds it up. But thanks for watching.